Well, Roxanne Elias is in Amador County tonight tracking the devastating fire that left several people without a job. The fire here is completely contained at this time, but as things start to settle down, there is a feeling of disbelief here as employees wait to hear what's next for the company. This is what is left of the Ampine Lumber Mill in Amador County. You know, it was there were, other than just getting out of the building and sort of like just just this panic and oh my gosh, like how this happened. Brianne Todd was coming back from her lunch Monday when she and co-workers noticed a fire start inside the building. Amador Fire Protection District says employees tried to contain it, but it was just too much. We're, we're just glad that they all got out safely because we know that they keep a fire, you know, if you work here, you know, part of your responsibilities are to be at a moment's notice fire brigade and, and try and uh, extinguish even before we get here. It's so. a loss, not just for the employees, but for their families and the entire community. This business has been around for almost 50 years. A spokesperson says to his knowledge, it's the only particle board manufacturing plant in California. We watched it just go. It's sad, real sad. But I think everyone's thankful that nobody got hurt. This company was is one of the major employers in the county. You know, like I said 150 employees. It's um, I don't know if there's anyone here that doesn't know somebody that works directly uh, for the company. So. You know, they're, they're our friends as well. For Brianne Todd, whose personal car was caught in the line of fire, the important thing here is everyone made it out alive. We had no idea this was going to happen yesterday. So as you can see, it's doused in fire retardant, and there's a little bit of damage to the tail lights, which obviously can be replaced. But um, I am so fortunate, even though it's kind of a mess, I'm such, I'm, I feel so blessed that, you know, uh, my, my vehicle did survive it. And as investigators work on determining the cause of the fire, she and co-workers look to move forward. It was, it was shocking. One heck of a Monday. <laughs> One heck of a Monday, I'll tell you. Um, that's really it. We're just, I'm glad it's over. I'm glad it's finally been, been quenched out and we, we can move forward. We reached out to the company this afternoon. They tell me that they have a team on their way here from their corporate office and they will formulate a plan on how to move forward once they are able to assess the damages. Back to you. Roxanne Elias reporting for us tonight. Our thoughts are with everyone impacted by that fire.